Okay. Uh, hey, real quick. I was watching Jedi Joy's blog this morning, and one of the things that people talk about is uh, weight. You know, they call her skinny a lot. They call her anorexic, all of this stuff. I can tell you right now, she was those things, and she has had those issues, but she's overcome them. And that's why she looks the way she looks now, because she eats organically. And the reason why I'm talking to you is because, guys, she taught me to eat organically, and as a result, I don't have to go to the gym anymore. Now, if you want to get real bulked up and real big, you can add some weights. I imagine you probably could. But, you know, I'm over 50 years old, and I kind of like to enjoy myself. So I don't like spending a lot of time at the gym. Anyways, you can't go to the gym now, so this is a good alternative to working out. Is it not? Where you don't have to go to the gym. And how do you do it? It's simple. Eat, cut out, cut out. Okay, let's start with the basics. Any smokers here? Stop smoking, okay? Drinkers, cut out the alcohol. Alcohol is fermented sugar. Weed is legal now in Nevada and other states. If you're not in a state where it's not legal, move. Uh, so yeah, so no alcohol. Then here's the big one that people don't really think is that big of a deal. Caffeine. You got to cut out the caffeine. Now why? Ask Jedi Joy. But basically it's a bunch of chemical stuff that has to do with a bunch of chemical stuff. But at the end of the day, your body will make you, uh, will make you retain weight more when you drink caffeine than if you don't. And at first, of course, it works. But later on, your body compensates. So every time you drink it, it compensates. So it actually works against you. And that's why you have to keep doing more and more energy drinks or figuring things stuff out. That's the silent secret little thing right there is the caffeine. Uh, we did a challenge uh, for the stay-at-home challenge. We said, hey, man, why are you guys are staying at home and you don't have to go anywhere? Why not cut out caffeine? I don't know if anybody did it, but what a great opportunity. You don't have to go to work. Stop drinking caffeine. And see what happens. Uh, for me, what happened was at first, I, for the first 45 days, was absolutely miserable. <laughs> like I said, you should have started a long time ago. <laughs> this is day 41 of the shutdown. So if you would have started when we said 45 days, it starts, starts getting pretty normalized. But those 45 days is, is going to be really hard because you were so used to being, you're addicted. You're addicted to speed. It's like getting a meth addict off meth. It takes forever. So meth and, and coffee are very are in the same classification, if you didn't know that, drug classification. They're called stimulants. Uh, caffeine is down here as far as, like, you know, its intensity, and methamphetamine is up here as far as intensity. You know, and then you have, like, diet pills in here, and you have, like, you know, medicines, uh, pharmaceutical, you know, over-the-counter pharmaceuticals down here. So it's very mild, but if you take it every single day, your body builds up tolerance. So even though you're not getting as high as here, you're getting just as addicted as here over years of use. The thing about a meth addict is that they can't use it every day, every single day, all day long, for 30 or 40 years in live. But you can do that on caffeine. But what kind of life do you have? Well, the issues that we had was, uh, number one was irritability. I mean, caffeine makes you very irritable. When you, when you don't have it, you're very irritable. Have you ever met somebody who says, I need my coffee before you even talk to me? Well, okay. That's, that should be a sign to you. That if you can't talk to someone before you have a cup of coffee, that you are addicted. And it's not the end of the world. You know, I mean, they make addiction such a bad thing because it's like they've demonized it. You know, for those of you who grew up in the 80s, you got, a lot of you guys are children of the just say no generation. Well, because that, that's kind of my, you know, I, 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 my parents... The adults, when I was a teenager, were telling me to just say no. And so, while I didn't abide by that, a lot of people my age did. So I imagine they're just na say no to their kids. So now they've told their kids to say no to everything. And as a result, their kids are still staying at home. Because, well, they say no to everything. <laughs> it's probably the worst advice you could give someone. Just say no, 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 no. Just say hell yeah. Anyways, back to what we're talking about. So... Uh, I'm just giving you kind of some evidence, like cut out the caffeine and start there. And then, and then we'll work on the other things. The next things we're going to work on are dairy, sugar, gluten, you know, all the pastas, grains, things like that. But 
But start with the caffeine. And, you know, if you want to get extra credit and get a head start for what's next, cut out sugar. No more added sugar. Don't eat any fruit. Don't add sugar. None of that stuff. Okay, if you need to, eat fruit for, the, for, for now. But, but trust me, it's going away. Okay, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. My name is Jedi Rich. I'm doing this video is to show people who are quarantined if you eat correctly you don't need to go to the gym <laughs> thank you I appreciate the compliments I like that you gave me the idea out here to come out and lay out in the sun that was, right. that, that was right. you <laughs> hey babies Not to death, I'm not impressed, I'm not amused, I'm not confused, I'm not confused. I'm a grown man business, I'm not in school. Put your hand down, youngin', this is not for you. I'm a jail, my deep with the Kanye, yo. Your name on the marquee, your name off the payroll. Style fresh, it's like I'm still a day yo, and it's been like that since the day yo. On more time than a Rolly or Seiko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get up or get out, get down. Get down. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out, check it out. Check it out.